Hey, it's Kip here. What's going on today? I want to talk about another product that everybody can add to their preps. I'm going to talk about hydrogen peroxide. I know there's a lot of, a lot of other people out there on YouTube and the internet and stuff that's already talked about it, but uh, I feel it's very important for most people to have for their preps. And uh, I want to just give you a little information about it and share it with you. Um, so let's talk about it. Okay, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Everybody obviously knows that it's made for cleaning infections, to stop infections on your cuts. Um, anytime you scratch yourself or bug bites, different things like that, we use it for that, you know. Um, but there's a, so many, there's a plethora of different other things you can use it for. Um, obviously, tooth whitening. Um, mouthwash you know especially when you want to you get a sore throat or something you gurgle with it I've done it everybody's done it um, you mix it with some baking soda you can use it for toothpaste um, I use it like on my um, cutting boards for like when I process meat um, when I'm skinning out uh, different things I'll use I'll soak my knives and stuff in it um, but like I said when you on my flay board my cutting boards um, it, you know, just to, just to help with the E. coli thing, you know, countertops, it, I mean, it just disinfects everything. I mean, um, I mix it with a little bit of water and, you know, just wash things down with it. I mean, you can use bleach too. Um, that's a whole nother video, but, um, I use it on my plants in the summertime when I'm growing stuff like, um, there's a solution you can mix up, which we'll get that into that this spring or this summer. Like on my tomato plants, it stops the fungus and different things like that. Um, you can use it for cleaning your grout, um, for stripping wood, cleaning decks. Um, it's pretty good when it comes to like uh, spots in your carpet. You know, you mix it up, just dilute it with a little bit of water and a scrub brush. And I tell you what, it is a good spot remover. Um, we use it where I work for cleaning carpets and that. Um, spot removing for like soda pop and that kind of stuff, light spills, different things, you know. Um, it's therapeutic, you know, you can use it for baths, um, for soaking your feet, and different things like that. Uh, earwax removal. It's pretty good stuff for that. And you can go on the internet and find the actual mixtures, the percentages of what you mix with. You know, I'm not gonna get into all that. I'm just giving you some ideas. The one thing I really wanna talk about is I buy the smaller containers, like the 16 fluid ounce containers, um, because they only got about a one year shelf life or so if you don't open it. Keep it in a cool area, dry out of the sunlight but once you open that seal and a lot of people don't really talk about this is about 30 to 45 days basically you just end up with uh, H2O um, it, it, it evaporates it the, the hydrogen peroxide turns into water basically you know then you got distilled water um, that's why I buy the smaller jugs. I don't buy the bigger things, the bigger containers, because once you open it, I mean, unless you use a lot of it for cleaning and stuff, it's kind of a waste of money. Um, like I said, I just wanted to talk about it, and uh, everybody should have it in their preps. It's very inexpensive, but but the way I look at it, buy the smaller ones. Buy the 16 ounces, rotate them out, rotate it in your stock. Um, that's the biggest thing, once it's open, I mean, it, it goes fast. So, just a little bit of information on it. I thought I'd share it with you. And uh, thanks for watching. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Subscribe.